Hey everybody, Iron Gate release a new development blog for Valheim and they go through a few things including a preview of some of the new creatures from the Ashlands. All right, let's go through it. So first off, they just talk about a light armor design that they released uh, not too long ago. In case you missed that, let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we go. We got the new light armor design that they released not too long ago and this is early concept. It's just photoshopped over the character here and uh, yeah, pretty interesting looking. Uh, I kind of like it, actually. And here's what I think is more of a goof than anything. They call this the summer version <laughs> where they basically just make it look like the character is not wearing pants or or an undershirt you know, compared to that right there. I don't think we're going to see this version, but uh, there it is. Maybe they'll <laughs> they'll give us that option. It's interesting, too, how this uh, outfit contrasts the mage outfit that they gave us a few months earlier, a preview of. That version, again, like a summer version with more skin revealed. And then this version, which actually I really kind of like. I like that uh, blue glowy hood. Makes me feel like a wraith if I get to wear that. But uh, as where these are much more tattered outfits, kind of sewn together, these uh, seem much more constructed. It's quite a contrast, the two outfits uh, from the Ashlands. And they do mention in the blog that we're going to get three new armor sets for the Ashlands. So that's pretty cool. And back over here on the blog, they talk about another landscape image that was released on social media. I'll show that to you real quick in case you missed it. OK, so here it is. Very dark image. But let me brighten that up for you so you can see what's going on. There you go. I love the atmosphere that all the uh, trees here give uh, the silhouette against the sky out of focus atmospheric effects, the ash floating around, the gray ash on the ground and the rocks and everything. Looks pretty cool. But yep, they released that on social media not too long ago. So they also gave a new look to the Bone Maw Serpent, which lives in the seas surrounding the biome of the Ashlands. Keep an eye out for those sharp spikes when you're sailing. And here's what that looks like right here. Whoa, that's quite a bit different than what we've seen in the past for this Bone Maw Serpent. Let me show you the evolution of this thing. So this image right here is the early concept art that was done in Photoshop. Then eventually they gave us this image here of it swimming in the water with its glowing eyes there. Then we see it uh, evolve with a bigger head and some gruesome tendrils hanging from its mouth here. And then this final version with this huge head. And yeah, that's uh, pretty wild. Quite a bit different from this original concept drawing. But as you, you know, as it, these things go, they evolve and it's nice of them to at least share with us uh, their process. But yeah, that thing looks pretty scary. And yeah, watch out for your boats with all these bones. So they say here, we also felt that there was a type of enemy lacking. Oftentimes when we need inspiration, we look back at the Black Forest and this time was no different. By borrowing some aspects from the Grey Dwarves, we have added this subcategory of charred, which currently make up for quite a large portion of the Ashlands population. And here's the image that they released. Check that out. Fiery skeletons. Let me show you the evolution of this one. So here's the original charred concept pictures that they showed us. Uh, one holding a sword, two, two short swords, and then kind of like a magician one. I love the skulls growing on its shoulder and stuck inside the body there. I hope we still see this version of it. And then uh, here's one of the pictures they released with them ba charging at you. I don't see any weapons in these versions though. And this is that other one that they showed on the blog, just brightened up. And it looks like they have, if we zoom in here, some like tail bones or something here. But uh, I'm not seeing the skulls on the shoulders or in the cavity of the chest here or any weapons in these versions. So hopefully those versions still exist. Either way, pretty cool looking. Here they go on to say, we're also, of course, filling out the landscape with various kinds of structures. You know by now that Valheim carries plenty of traces of old civilizations and the Ashlands will be no exception. And even while most of the biome will be a fiery wasteland, the old ruins will still have kept a thing or two intact. 
We'll let you discover for yourselves what can be found there. So for now, we'll just show you the Blender version of what they can look like. And here's the image that they released. And over here in Photoshop, let me brighten that up for you so you can get a look at it. So yeah, I mean, we're used to seeing uh, ruins around the world and these actually look maybe a little bit bigger than some of the ruins that we're used to. Hopefully this is also a little bit of a peek at what some of the build pieces that we might be able to build in the Ashlands if they resemble some of these at all. You know, maybe these are like crumbled versions of some of the build pieces that we're going to get. Mm, not sure, but uh, we can hope anyways. Okay, and back over here, they talk about the Trial of Tear closing last week. That was where they try to see who can finish Valheim in hard mode the quickest. And they're going to mention this uh, reveal the winners shortly. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we'll get a link to the video so that we can all watch it if we want. But I imagine it's going to be very long, probably at least 12 or 13 hours. I don't know. We'll see who has the fastest entry. And then they've got a build of the month by Cap Crumbs Gaming. Well done for your Valheim build of the month. And check this out. A base, a little bunch of buildings here out in the middle of the ocean. Pretty cool. Now with the new uh, build snap points that we can do, I imagine that you can snap pieces quite a bit lower than normal to achieve something like this uh, to get down into the, you know, touch the uh, the ground below the water. And so you can build it deeper. And this is really neat. Look, he's even got a tree up here going through the tallest part of the structure, which I imagine is a little piece of land there probably that he found to build this but uh, yeah that looks really awesome congratulations All right what do you think of uh, these new designs that we have for the Ashlands what, one of the things I'm liking is that it's not going to be visually obscured by the ash as much as the mistlands is by the mist I know a lot of people uh, are really hoping that uh, the visibility is better and from what we've seen so far it looks like it is going to be much better and uh, hey if you uh, love Valheim and you want to play with your friends, you need a server. Save 10% if you guys use my link, jirokthevikingcom slash gportal. And a huge thank you to all of my patrons for supporting me and those of you who use the YouTube join button. I really appreciate all of you so very much. All right, that's it for now. Have fun out there.